Hey folks, it's Dag, and I wanted to share with you this do-it-yourself field 24-volt power supply. And this is insane what I've built here, okay? So basically, folks, I needed something I could take to the field and charge my batteries where I don't have to carry my big generator and my AC power supplies and all of this. So this is 100,000 milliamps of ion power, and it's basically for me to take the flying field. I can get about 18 charges, which is a lot of flights, before I got to recharge this thing. Uh, essentially, I have 120 lithium ion cells, about 130 just in case some were bad, none were bad, and um, it, it turned out really good. So folks, basically I, I created four bricks of batteries, I call it, and each brick has its own balancing board. And that way you can just charge this without doing a balanced charge because these boards will automatically balance the battery uh, brick. The brick is made up of six cells, five P. So that's going to be six cells in series and then five in parallel. I mean, then those are in five, five times five times parallel. Uh, nice thing about these little balance boards is they do protect you from overcharging and they do have a cutoff that if you under drain it, you can't hurt the batteries. Okay. You do have to be very careful how you're going to wire this. <clears throat> excuse me, to make sure you're doing it right or it's just not going to work or you're going to blow something up, okay? When you go to make the battery bricks, you got to really take your time to make sure you're doing this right. The polarity and everything's right. You got to also make sure you have a good spot welder, okay, to weld the tabs. You also, folks, you got to make sure on these battery holders that they are in the right configuration and notice those little holes. I'll talk about those holes in those battery uh, holders in a minute. So you see those holes right there in the bottom, that um, knockoff Pelican case that's um, made by Harbor Freight? That's what holds my battery bricks in, and it's really freaking strong. So essentially, folks, what I really love about this is, is in my testing, I can really charge a lot of batteries. I do have this little basically info up here so that if anybody wants to ask me questions at the field, I can at least talk a little bit intelligently about this. But it just works so freaking cool, folks. And I've already taken the field and used it once, and I love it. So basically, here I was doing a test of charging two 5,000s in parallel and three 6,000s in parallel, pulling 10.4 amps on one side, 18 amps on the other side. And I only saw my voltage come down two-tenths of a volt. So basically, when I press this button when there's no load, it was at 24.5, but when I put all that load on it, it dropped to 24.3, which I think is pretty kick-ass. So, <clears throat> excuse me, this is just a really, really neat field power supply to run my chargers. So here are all the things I had to buy to build this. Now keep in mind, I didn't use like all 20 feet of this wire or all 20 feet of the other wire, but these are the things I needed to buy to build this, okay? This is the little balance board that works really, really good. This is the Apache 3800 knockoff of a Pelican case I got at Harbor Freight and uh, for 39 bucks. These are the battery holders that are made for the 6S 5P. This is some specs on the battery. And the batteries, uh, when you buy 130, are about $5 each. And this was the what I call the ladder strips for um, attaching the batteries in parallel. This is the little voltage tester that shows me what my voltage is when you press a button. These are the little uh, insulators you need for the end of the cells. I needed some shrink wrap for my battery bricks. And folks, one of the things about this project was this spot welder I got off Amazon. It's decent. I've had it a while, but it's not the best. I wouldn't use this. It, it barely gets hot enough. I'm, well, it does good welds, but you got to crank it all the way up. Okay, so there's a lot better ones out there. And then kind of lastly, I got me some insulating tape to just make sure I could insulate everything in it and make sure it's not going to, you know, short or touch anything. I did pull the seal off the front door of my uh, Harbor Freight thing and put bigger seals on it. And then I needed some of these uh, connectors. So, folks, that's basically it. This is really kick-ass. It costs nine thirty-eight to make. I know people are going to have a heart attack and say, oh "My God, you got a thousand dollars in this thing, folks." For me not to have to carry the generator and a five-gallon tank of gas and everything in the field, and I know some fields have electricity, 
But folks, I do a lot of parallel charging and I'm going to do a whole video on parallel charging because I get all these haters saying you can't parallel charge. There's videos out there saying you're stupid if you parallel charge. I've parallel charged for 14 years now and never had a problem. But I pull a boatload of amps and I'm always blowing circuit breakers either on my generator or on the um, power at the flying field. And this way, I'm just not blowing any breakers or anything. So... Um, yeah, it's really, really cool, folks. So I hope you like this. Please like and subscribe and follow. Uh, feel free to comment, even if you're one of the haters. I really don't give a rat's ass. So rock on, take care, have a fabulous day, and be safe. Blue skies, everybody. Bye-bye.